just saying, what in the world is this? This is a sofa. This is a sofa that um, is in a garage, and I'm going to have to take care of it when the person dies. This is part of the estate, and there's no way to get it out of the garage without moving everything out that's in front of this to the door. I don't want to sell this because there's been talk of selling this for many years and it was never done. At this point, I just want to get rid of it. So the whole thing is how do you tear apart a sofa? You need to be really careful. You get this, I don't know if that's fiberglass or what, I have no idea. You don't want that in your lungs, so you definitely want to mask up. The less you have to deal with that, the better. There's some nasty black stuff that's inside the, the side panels. You need to be careful with that, too. So, and is this the cotton? That's the, I think that's cotton padding. That's upholstery padding. You need to be careful with that also. You're going to run into a whole bunch of spring work. And these springs are held with, they're all tied together with this thick rope. This, like, thick string, really thick string. So... My advice to you, if you have to do this, is get a knife, break through the top cloth. After you break through the top cloth, which is this pink stuff over here in my case, you're going to be dealing with this burlap, and you're going to be dealing with this type of padding, and this cotton type of padding, and as I said, there's some like black, black it's kind of like a, a wire type stuff black wire material uh, nasty filthy material um <clears throat> what else so you get the knife you start cutting and pull out all your padding and you're going to end up with a, like these burlap straps that inner they, they weave in and out you can cut get a good pair of scissors cut that stuff um leave the frame until the very last there's a lot of string. The string is a nightmare. The string, this thin string, ties up all of this, all of this junk, all of this, uh, well, your sofa might vary, but it, it's a nightmare. If you can put it outside to get fresh air, good. Either way, wear a protective mask. There is a lot of dirt in these sofas. There's a lot of, a lot of junk, a lot of filth, a lot of Material, you know, once it goes in your lungs, it's never going out. It's going to be in there forever, for life. Um, things that I would suggest you have. An upholstery knife. A pair of scissors, good scissors, so you can cut the stuff up. You want to have gloves. Uh, eye protection. These things, when you start taking some of these springs out, things go flying all over the place. Little clips that hold it down. Wood, the wood's going to be the very last thing that I'm worried about because I can cut that and nobody's going to hear it. Nobody's going to hear the saw. As far as this padding, I just thought, leave this stuff alone right now until the very end so you don't have to deal with it. Um, for me, a little uh, jigsaw, which I haven't used yet, which will be for the wood framing. I also bought a... For the Sawzall, I bought this. Haven't really needed it yet, but that's, again, going to be for the framing where there are lots of nails. And, again, you want to wear protective gear. Keep it on a slow speed so things don't go flying all over the place. Bolt cutters. I bought bolt cutters when I was working on a mattress. And I cut up all the framing in the mattress. And then for, the, like, the next month, my shoulders and hands and arms and wrists were killing me because it was repetitive cutting and it hurt. Over here we've got a zillion, a zillion of these springs all tied together. So if you can get, if you can get in there and it's freezing out here. If you see, let me show you. So everything's tied with string, and then you've got oh utility knife. Definitely want a utility knife. So you can see over here. The spring is mounted. We get a clip over here. So I could go in there and remove the clip, which is probably going to go flying, or I can just get a scissors and cut this webbing, and then the spring comes out. So do take your time. I watch all these videos. You get all these clowns out there trying to impress everybody 
with their brute force and how fast they can do stuff. And it's dangerous. Take your time. Like over here, we've got wood, we've got cloth, we've got this cotton stuff. It's all covering the nails. There's clips everywhere. It's a mess. I've already broken through to the bottom. So the more you can cut out, just take your time. You don't have to do this in a day. Unless you want to be one of those YouTube idiots. Um, and you'll get it done. Slowly throw it in the trash can if you live in the city. Uh, don't let anybody know you're doing this if you don't want them to know that you're destroying their $2,000 antique sofa with this beautiful upholstery. Just be quiet. Don't let anybody know. And get it done. See? Like over here. We get the spring that's held down on the bottom with a clamp. So I can go on here and I can cut. Oh, I, I've cut part of it. I can cut that. And then over here, you get this big, huge frame. All of these are going to have this big metal and you can go in there and pull all of this out as one piece or you just get these bolt cutters and you snap it over here and you're done and you pull it out piece by piece over here lots of nails lots of wood be really careful that's why i bought the sawzall blade which is made it's like a demo blade it's made to uh rip the pieces of wood that have nails in them um but i'm going to be really careful because they're Again, are lots of chemicals. I'm already at the back of the sofa. See, if I go in here, we've got more padding. So my goal now is to leave as much padding alone as I can. Get the framing out. I just want to get out. Once I get out this wiry stuff, this nightmare, again, you can see I've got this pull apart. I can cut the framing. I can cut the web. And I can tear this stuff out piece by piece, throw it in the trash can um, week after week. And, uh, and the whole goal is to make sure that the people who are leaving this stuff to you so that you're going to turn around and sell it or donate it, just make sure that you tear it apart and throw it in the garbage. Because believe me, if you are left with an antique piece, somebody's going to go in there and try to get it for next to nothing, and then they're going to turn around and sell it and make a fortune off of you. So just say, hello landfill, goodbye world. Peace out. There it is, people. Lots of springs, lots of burlap, and a sofa that is a shell of what it was a couple days ago. Now, all I really have left is a frame. I've got some upholstery over here. I've got a frame so I can use this handsaw, I can use the jigsaw, I can use the um, sawzall. The less noise, the better. The less mess, the better. And I can just start cutting this down into really tiny pieces, really small pieces, so that I can uh, get most of the frame and the garbage can over the few weeks. And like the side leg over here, if you get a big dumpster or something, it's not a big deal. But again, you don't want this garbage in your lungs.